Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Nigga, I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? Jerron Boots Ennis, successful outing in his first big step up fight versus Sergey Lipinets. Dominant performance, six round knockout. Uh, showed us pretty much everything. If you didn't see my immediate post fight reaction, go back and check that out. I kind of broke down his whole performance, you know, what I was looking for what I liked that I seen from him, what I felt like he needed to work on. But all in all, man, it was an A-plus performance, beautiful. Um, I mean, he really showed everything that you want to see. And, uh, of course, Virgil Ortiz, you know, he got his, his win versus Maurice Hooker in a step-up fight. And both of these guys are, are doing good things on their way up. And, and making a name for themselves in the sport of boxing and I think they're on a collision course and I feel like that fight is a fight that needs to happen immediately I'm gonna get right on in it man get right to it that fight needs to happen immediately there's no reason to let this fight marinate there ain't no reason to let this fight simmer it's no reason for that you dig what I'm saying it's no reason for that because the same people that say, well, oh no, they not ready. Let's let this fight, you know, let it marinate. Y'all the same ones that's complaining about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford not happening right now. Y'all was the same ones saying that the Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fight took too long. Y'all the same ones saying that Canelo and Jamal Charlo need to fight already. You know what I'm saying? So how could you how could you feel that way and then at the same time you saying no nah, these two don't need to fight right now that's that's ass backwards that don't even make sense to how you how you feel about that particular type of situation you feel me that's not showing consistency towards this same scenario that we see in boxing time after time after time it's time for these youngsters to to set a new standard Get back to guys fighting early in their career, 23, 24, 25. That way you can have rematches and trilogies and things like that. Whoever wins this fight, great. They go on and continue to do great things. The loser, you get better. You sharpen up your skills. You go on a win streak. And if you keep making noise, sooner or later, that the person that, that won, they're going to have to see the loser again in a rematch. Because the demand is going, depending on how you perform in the fight, if it's a close fight and, you know, you take an L, we're going to want to see that shit again after you go back and get a few more wins, whether it be at 147 or 154. That's how it happened with Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns. They fought at 47 and they fought at middleweight. You know what I'm saying? That's how it happens. That's how it's supposed to be. You dig what I'm saying? So... There's literally no reason why this fight shouldn't happen next. Now, another interesting thing is that, you know, people saying that uh, Virgil Ortiz, I think these guys are ready for the top guys. As far as if they say they ready, then put them in there. You know, they skilled enough. That don't mean they going to win. Just because I think if Virgil Ortiz say he ready for Terrence Crawford right now, that I'm I'm favoring Terrence Crawford in that fight every time, you know, every day of the week. I'm picking Terrence Crawford in that fight. But that don't mean Virgil Ortiz don't have a chance to win, you know. And if he waits five years, you know, Crawford might not even be around five years from now. But let's say if he wait five years from now, that don't mean he going to be ready then. He still might get his ass whooped. So that shit don't. All that waiting and shit, that shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, you want to see guys continue to get better. Um, you know, but the point I'm making as far as bringing up the established guys in the division right now, people say, well, you know, uh, I'm hearing some people saying, well, Jerron Ennis, he at the top of the game. He can do this. He can do that. That's awesome. Well, if you put him on the level of the Earl Spencer's and Terrence Crawford's, then you need to go ahead and take care of Virgil Ortiz first. Same thing with Virgil Ortiz. For the guys that saying that, oh, you know, he can he gonna stop in it, so he'll beat in it, so all this shit. 
Well, he need to go ahead and make it happen. If you think, if you're saying that Virgil Ortiz can compete with Crawford and Spence and all these other guys, then he need to be able to take care of Jerron Ennis right now. You got to make this shit make sense. There's no reason why this fight shouldn't happen immediately. You these the guys that are, you know, Custio, Clayton, um, Stanionis, what's the Connor Ben, all these Jerron and his Virgil Ortiz, these guys need to be fighting each other right now. How you gonna jump up and try to fight Earl Spence and Crawford and them, but you ain't even fighting each other? You know what I'm saying? So you telling me you want them to go up and fight Earl Spence and Crawford, but you don't want to see these two guys fight? They need to they need to show that they ready for that level. They need to somebody need to stand out from these these young guys, these up and comers to show that you deserve the shot. You know what I'm saying? The way you do that is by competing with your peers. Jerron Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz. Whoever win that fight, they going to emerge as the next guy that, that, that can get an opportunity versus Keith Thurman. That can get a shot versus Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter, or Earl the True Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it need to go. And I, I think that, you, of course, these guys, they need experience and they need to continue to grow. But they can help each other grow by fighting. Maybe they don't, maybe Jerron Innocent Virgil Ortiz don't need to be looking at Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford right now until they fight each other. That's how you gain the experience by continuing to step up in class. If you think Jerron Ennis is a top fighter, if you think Virgil Ortiz is a top fighter, why the fuck can't they test each other versus each other? You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. And whoever wins, you step up and you go get a, a you go to the next level. If you take a L, see, you dust your ass off, get back in the gym, you get better, and you come back at it. You go go on a win streak, go crazy, do your thing. Your career is not over if you take a L. And you fans, you need to stop trying to protect these fighters, man. Stop trying to coddle them and you know what I'm saying. Like, bro, they don't need your protection. They don't need your protection. You feel me? And if you want to, you see, this is the thing that I hate about with the fans, man. You know, fans like to say all this shit. They like to do all this little talking because fans be, fans love the idea of, of just talking about the fights. They love like the, the fantasy aspect of the fights. They don't, a lot of these fans really don't want to see these fights. They just like the fantasy aspect of it. They like, oh, no, Virgil Ortiz will knock Ennis out. He going to hurt him. He too good for him. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to actually see the shit. They want to just talk about, they want to be able to, like, uh, years pass by and just go back and forth about who they think going to win instead of actually seeing a fight. I don't want to do that shit. I'm tired of talking about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, to be honest with you. I just want to see the fight. I done broke that, that fight down left, right, up, down. I done broke that bitch down in every which way you possibly can think. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to see the fight now. I don't want to do that with Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. I'm ready for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of these fans that just want to, that's just want to, that's in love with the idea of the fight. I want to actually see the fight. So, we need to get on the same page, man. All this, they need to marinate and shit. Why? Why? Then five years from now, you're going to be complaining, talking about, oh, man, the best ain't fighting the best because you didn't want them to fight. Come on now. If we going to claim that Jerron Ennis is a great fighter and he ready and he on this level, he doing all this, if you're going to say Virgil Ortiz is supposedly all this good and he this and he that what make the fight happen ain't no reason in waiting you know what i'm saying i don't think either one of these guys i know i said before that i think you know virgil ortiz and terrence crawford i think that's a great fight and i still do but looking at it right now these i don't want to hear nothing about ortiz and ennis fight nobody but each other you know what i'm saying now 
I, it's cool for them to have like, you know, Ennis maybe go get, um, let me see, maybe Ennis get a Hostacito Lopez or, you know, maybe, you know, somebody that could kind of help him sharpen his game, get a little bit more experience, maybe Ortiz fights, uh, you know, one of the Castillo Clayton or, you know, Jamal James or somebody like that. You dig what I'm saying? Ennis versus Jamal James. And then they meet up after that. That's cool, too. Maybe they get one or two more fights in and then fight. But what I'm saying is they need to be focused on making that fight happen ASAP. You feel me? Ain't It don't need to marinate. You know, because later on you can have a rematch and a trilogy. And those fights going to be bigger than the first fight. That's how you really build a rivalry. That's how you really build big fights by actually fighting. That's how you do it, man. In order to see these guys get to the level of Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman, like, while we talking about Jerron Ennis versus Keith Thurman, what about Virgil Ortiz? You know what I'm saying? I like Ennis versus Thurman. I like Ortiz versus Crawford. But what about Jerron Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz? That's the fight. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So stop trying to protect these guys, man. You seen Ennis get in there and beat the hell out that boy. He don't need your protection. You seen what he did to that man. He do not need your protection. He can handle his own business, man. Come on now. Y'all cut that shit out, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. When, like, do y'all want to see the fight right now? Do y'all want to see Jerron Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz right now? Or do y'all want to let the shit marinate and then seven years from now, we we still talk, we on some Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford shit still talking about, oh, man, I wish they would fight. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.